So yeah, you might be wondering why I wanted to get rid of my bed. So let me explain that this was a bit of an experiment to try and reclaim some space in a small apartment. I have spent a lot of time in this bedroom. Where I sleep is also directly across from where I work. So I kind of got into a, a loop of waking up from bed and then going right to my desk, starting to work and then returning to bed and watching TV or watching something before going to sleep. And this routine has lasted for a while and I felt like I couldn't really do anything else in this room besides that, just because there was not space for it. I had a lot of things that I want to do, like I have sewing supplies and I have art supplies and I want to do some fitness stuff in here, but it's not really possible when you have a giant bed taking up the space. So I started thinking a little bit more outside the box. At first I started thinking about Murphy beds. And Murphy beds are the ones that have the cabinet that can fold down and inside is a bed. But those things are, first of all, even expensive secondhand, and I don't think they really looked that attractive. It still takes up a huge space on your wall, and it seemed like just getting more furniture to kind of fill the space. And after seeing how the old bed and frame took up the rest of our apartment, I think it was a good idea we didn't bring in any more furniture. So no longer considering the Murphy bed idea, I started to think about the times I actually slept on the floor. I had made a little bed with my yoga mat and I did this so I could stretch my back out a couple nights and it really wasn't too bad. So it kind of gave me a new idea. So I started thinking about a Japanese method used in more of like traditional hotels where you have a futon and that futon is then brought out to usually a room with like lots of tatami mats and your bed is kind of made for you in that particular night. So I have yet to experience a true Japanese hotel, which hopefully when we can travel there, that is something we can go experience. But until then, I just started doing a lot of research online about how to kind of recreate this idea in my own apartment. And that's what actually got me like really excited. So I'm not really gonna focus too much on the specific mattress I got because this was just an experiment and I wasn't sure I wanted to commit to the mattress that I got. And I know I'm missing still a lot of pieces to make this like a proper setup. So I'm just gonna talk about more how it has been from transitioning from something that I've been a standard normal, of like a Western style bed, to just kind of a different way of experiencing sleep and finding space where you didn't think you had much of it left. Very small. I thought I checked the measurements to be our size mattress, but I think it's not. I need the space for two people. So I did get a mattress, got this one pretty cheap, which is really nice because I didn't want to spend too much money on this experiment. This cost me a couple hundred euro. I think that's pretty fair for the condition it is. So the idea is to have a bed I can completely pack away. So we needed a brand new futon mattress, which is basically something that's light enough or can fold easily enough so that you can pack away into either a different shape, like a couch like we do, or there are some futons that you can actually roll up and maybe store in the corner. But this one in particular happens to be pretty heavy, so this one is only really good for folding, which was perfectly fine for me because I didn't really feel the need to completely clear it out of the space. I just needed to kind of get some space back. Can you see the mattress behind me? <laughs> we also then just basically used all the same duvet covers and stuff that we had. We are missing like an actual cover for the futon itself. We're just kind of still waiting to get that. Otherwise, that's it for the actual futon itself. One major thing we are missing are the tatami mats. So this is pretty essential for having a futon, I think, on the floor. So tatami mats are made from straw. You might have seen them before in other scenarios like tea rooms and stuff like that, but basically it allows air to flow in and out so that your mattress can actually lay on top of those and then you will still have some circulation underneath the mattress. The hope is that in the winter time, it stays warm on your mattress and in the summertime you have the air to keep it cool. So those are things that are on order. Hopefully very soon we can kind of add those to this because we are missing them. <laughs> so that's what we have so far. <laughs>
I also tried making the couch in different ways or using a foam topper blanket to kind of add a bit more comfort, but all in all, it was nap proofed. So now I actually had space to do other things in this room and I managed to do a full sewing project and actually lay all the things out that I needed. But the best part may have become the night routine. Some essential oils and a diffuser, twinkle lights, and seeing my futon transformed back into a bed made me really feel ready for sleep. Let's talk pros and cons, because what was supposed to just be a three-day experiment ended up turning into what has now been at least a whole month already, so I think it goes to show that we have been enjoying it. So let's start with like the first question probably on your mind. How is it actually sleeping on this? I have slept better, I think, for the most part. I am a lot less restless when I'm sleeping. I don't know if it's just because I'm not sleeping in as much, because when you're in a really cushy, comfy bed, I end up sleeping a little bit too long and I think that's actually what makes my back hurt in the morning. So I would say, yeah, sleep has been good. So a pro along with that is when I wake up, I just get up. There's not really a need to stay in bed super long and it's not really the most comfortable place to necessarily like lay in just to, to lay in and lounge. So I think it actually gets you started in your morning a bit faster. Okay, here's one of the big first cons that might come up is the comfy factor. Physically, I felt comfortable sleeping there, but I didn't have that cozy feeling where you literally can't like just like jump or dive into this bed because it's so firm. And I mean, you're also on the ground, <laughs> so. But I kind of felt like guilty at first that I'm like taking away what would be my standard comfort and like replacing it with something that is a bit more unusual. I've definitely gotten used to it by now and now when I see this bed I'm like ready for sleep and I can just like enjoy going to bed. So while we're talking cons, let's talk about cleaning because now that we're so low on the floor, cleaning is super super important. But pro, it also makes it way easier to clean because now I can actually move this whole thing away or I can just like actually get behind or under the bed without having to deal with what used to be a giant bed frame that I couldn't really get tools underneath as easily. I do have to do it like every two days because I don't want any dust buildup. It's definitely more frequent, but I'm also happier enjoying the space because now it's just cleaner more often and it's kind of just part of like your morning routine or your evening before you go to bed routine. Now, the big pro here is obviously I got space back, like a ton of space back. Like it's crazy, it feels so different. And being able to set this up as a little couch or just keep it even as a bed, I still have enough space to spread out and do some fitness stuff or just have a feeling of more openness and a major change is I have distance from my workspace to my sleeping space. That was kind of one that surprised me a bit because I can still physically see like right behind the camera is my desk. Maybe it's because we're lower and my eyes don't go to the desk as much. It feels so much nicer. So another pro is like a better night routine. 
because I am not thinking about work or we got rid of our TV from our bedroom, it is so much nicer to just come in here and not really have too many screens going on. I mean, of course, like I still have a phone and I'm guilty of still using that phone in bed, but it's definitely a lot less and I'm spending a lot less time on it while I'm in here. So winding down for sleep is a lot more more relaxed. <laughs> One thing that was surprising but has been very good is that if you sleep with a partner, you might end up enjoying this more because you don't bother the other person when you're getting in and out of bed because this thing doesn't really have any bounce. <laughs> so I could be on this side making a ton of movement and this side won't feel a thing. So. It's really nice actually, because if I need to get up in the middle of the night or I get up super early in the morning compared to my partner, my partner is not going to be completely disturbed by me getting in and out of bed. So that's been a huge bonus that was pretty unexpected and I think we're both pretty happy with that. Now that we do spend time on the floor, I would say that cables and kind of things that hang out on the floor have become much more noticeable. And I'm not necessarily trying to hide it, but it doesn't look the prettiest, so I think it's just maybe we do a little DIY something or try to figure out a nice way to store our stuff. It's nothing that I think we can't fix, but just remember you're low and so you're hanging out with more outlets <laughs> closer to your vision. So the final con I want to talk about is will this be good for long term? And I'm kind of not sure. Like right now I know I'm super enjoying it in a year I'm not sure if I will be or in two years maybe it gets a bit annoying or maybe my back doesn't feel as good I think it's just kind of a thing where I'm gonna keep using it until it doesn't feel good or I need to change again so yeah I think that about sums it up <laughs> that's really a lot more pros than cons that I can think of so this was our bed experiment uh, a little bit different but I hope you guys enjoyed you know, I think this year I really want to make it all about trying new things and that is really my goal for 2022. So hopefully you guys want to join me on some new adventures going around town or just doing some new experiments like this. That's what this channel is going to be all about. So thanks for sticking around. I hope you like the video and see you in the next adventure. Bye. Bye.